therefore this is the density of our community. Therefore for us to find a location to be close by to all the community was very difficult compared and also considering the amount of the money we could afford. Anyway, we, we find this location and we bought in uh, October 2010. And we start the renovation and uh, in 2011 almost we finished the building. The land is about 60,000 square feet and we have 10,000 square feet of the building. We have the facility here, which majority of you already visited. We have a, a multiple classroom, state-of-art computer lab, 200 seats auditorium, and the recreation and the dance studio, cafeteria, and the catering space. These are the partners and collaborators who are in collaboration with Paria in different programs we are carrying to serve our community in New Common. We have a skill develop program for the adult computer classes for the senior. Math and science tutoring, these are done by the Iranian teachers who does this uh, voluntarily. We have trade wind support, uh, your region employment program, and the, in the Latin with the trained electrician, which you will get more information when the, you will get the, uh, through the skill for change. We're committed to doing what it takes to break down those barriers, speed certification, so that newcomers can find work in their fields. We're in the midst trying to provide for a new immigration strategy for Ontario to complement the needs not only of Ontario, but of Canada. There's work to be done. And that's why I'm so pleased that this center will provide a one-stop resource for Iranian Ontarians, newcomers, and other newcomers from the community with everything from language training to settlement assistance to bridge training. Skills for Change is delivering a bridge training program in, the, in this center upstairs called Trades Wind Support Program. I had the opportunity to go up and visit that. Its goal is to smooth the transition of newcomers into the trades. And it's doing a great job. We're already facing shortages in trades and we need to get newcomers into good productive jobs in the trades as soon as possible. We have gaps in our society. Newcomers, the next five years, will, will uh, fill net jobs. Why 100%? All of those jobs are coming forward are going to need trained, skilled newcomers to fill those jobs. So my message to you is this. We need you. And we want you to succeed. This center is going to help do exactly that. Your center will help build opportunity and prosperity in Markham, in Richmond Hill, in the York region. And on behalf of the Premier and the Legislative Assembly, we thank you. There is so much that you're doing not only for the Iranian community here in, here in this uh, region, but for all who are going to require some of those very services that you provide in this center. I'm going to be congratulated, Mr. Risi, for having the foresight, the discipline, the ability to garner the support that you've done amongst all of you and your board to achieve this center. You're going to be congratulated. I'm very proud of what you're doing. And with that, I'd like to call up my caucus colleague, Mr. Sherman, Peter Marizzi to come, uh, Marizzi, Marizzi, if you can come up, I want to present you, sir, with a plaque highlighting and, and, and providing our thanks for what you're doing. The plaque, the plaque reads as follows, heartfelt congratulations to the patrons of Fire Ter Terillium Foundation on the opening of your new building. The bricks and mortar symbolize the Iranian community's commitment to Ontario and are a reflection of your outstanding contribution to the life and economy of our province. Signed by the Minister of Citizenship and Immigration, I'm not sure who that person is, but it has my signature and I congratulate and wish you all many happy years in your new center. Mamun Hashtag. <laughs> to be here today, not only for it's the grand opening of Paria Trillium and, and represents an expanded partnership for us with Paria Trillium, but also this uh, represents the, the end of the first week of us providing uh, workshops for internationally uh, tra trained tra tradespeople here at Paria. So we've completed one week of our trades win 
program here. It represents an expansion of a program we've successfully delivered for two years uh, out in Peel region and we're really thrilled to be able to bring it here to York region. Over the next three years we'll be able to help uh, hundreds of international tradespeople find work both here in York region and outside of York region and achieve their certificate of qualification which is essential to working uh, here in, in uh, working here. So we're really, we're really thrilled to be here and, and this is a hard working community centre where there's a lot going on here during the day. Um, Skills for Change uh, has been uh, working with Par Utrillium for, for some time on uh, partnering on delivering services but with this partnership we'll be able to bring information, referral and assessment services, uh, counselling, our training workshops for tradespeople and uh, most importantly job placement to get people relevant work. Um, forming partnerships such as this one with Paria Trillium is, is so critical as we move forward and look at the needs of the workplace of people, uh, the workforce coming, coming ahead. If people have been following the Globe and Mail uh, articles over the last week, you know that we have a lot of work to do going forward and Skills for Change is positioning itself and dedicated to looking at innovative ways to deliver those services so that we can meet the needs of the coming decade. And one of those ways is through partnerships such as the one with Paria Trillium, where we're able to bring to this centre settlement services and language, uh, language services as well as our core program trades. So we're, we're able to not only achieve a, 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 a double bottom line, but also to uh, put forward programs that are greater than the sum of their parts. We're very excited to be here as part of this, this vibrant community. And I just wanted to ask very quickly for the Skills for Change staff to stand up because this is Saturday afternoon and um, <laughs> I'm so proud. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> And, and also to, to thank all the staff here at Paria Trillium. You've made us so welcome. You've given us a home in York Region. It, we didn't know if we'd be able to find one. It's been a, a wonderful <coughs> thing to be able to come and join you. And most of all, of course, um, my, my most sincere thanks to Ahmed Tabrizi. Ahmed, you've been, uh, you supported us through all of the teething pains of this program and seen me through all the ups and downs of the last few months. Um, your passion for people and your community dedication is a true inspiration to us all. Thank you very much.